everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Hi, Emma. How's your summer going so far? Well, it was going well until yesterday. I was running around outside playing and woke up as red as a lobster. Look at my arm. Oh no, Emma, your skin is so red. That must really hurt. Yeah, it really does, Auntie. Was having such a good time and since the sun was behind the clouds most of the day, I didn't even notice what was happening. Auntie, how did I get this sunburn? Good question, Emma. Oh, it just it just really, really hurts. Yeah, it really looks like it does. Look how red it is. I know. Well, to understand sunburns, we first have to understand the sun and the light it produces. The energy from the sun produces different waves of energy. Think of waves like ocean waves that go up and down, but these waves are made of light and are of different lengths. Some are short and some are long, and depending on how long the waves are will depend on if we can see them and what color of light they produce. Light that we can see, or visible light, has a medium-sized wavelength, but really short waves, which are purple on the light spectrum, are called ultraviolet light or UV light, which humans actually cannot see with our eyes. However, interesting enough, certain animals can see the invisible UV light. Some bugs, birds, reptiles, and crocodiles can see it. Wow, anti-crocodiles, yep. And it's this invisible UV light that is so dangerous to our skin. Think about shoes or maybe a craft that you accidentally leave outside on a hot day. When you look at it the next day, the color is faded or not as bright. That is because the invisible UV light has broken down the chemicals inside the fabric of the shoes or the paper of the craft. Just like the paper and fabric, if you are outside too long, the UV light will start to break down or hurt the cells of your skin. When the cells of the skin are hurting, they cry out for help, 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 they are saying, the UV light is attacking us. So Emma, who do you think helps them? Hmm, not sure, Auntie, but I hope someone comes fast. Don't worry, skin cells, we will help you. Your immune system answers the call. These are the protectors of the body. They see the problem and send the army to help fix the skin cells fast. But Emma, how do we get the army of immune cells to the skin to act fast? Hmm, I don't know, Auntie. Okay, so I want you to imagine playing at the park on the jungle gym and your mom calls you to come down quickly to her. You have two options. One, go down the stairs, or two, go down the slide. Which is faster? Well, the slide, obviously, Auntie. Right, okay. So we have to create a slide for the immune cells to get to the skin fast. Help, help, shout the skin cells. When your body sees that the skin needs help, it sends off a danger alert signal and it triggers tubes in your body called blood vessels to turn into big slides that help push the immune cells to the skin faster. Go, go, go immune cells. Pretty soon, thousands of immune cells are all sliding down our blood vessels to get to the skin fast and start cleaning up the hurt skin cells. And all of a sudden, there is a huge traffic jam of blood vessels and cells all under your skin. And this buildup or traffic jam is called inflammation. And this, Emma, is why your skin turns red and hurts so much. It's not the heat of the sun that is burning your skin making it red. 
It's the buildup of blood vessels and immune cells, or inflammation, that makes your skin red. And this, Emma, is why you can get burned even in cold weather. It's the traffic jam of your immune cells trying to help fix the attack from the UV light that causes the sunburn. So even on cooler summer days, the sun still makes UV light, which is what is hurting our skin. Wow, Auntie, I can't believe something we cannot see can cause so many problems. That sneaky UV light, I wish I was a crocodile so I could see that UV light and stop it. Well, Emma, no need to turn into a crocodile. Since we cannot stop the UV light from coming, we need to be prepared to protect ourselves. For this, we need to remember the ABCs of sun protection. Ooh, what are those, Auntie? Okay, so A, avoid the sun in the middle of the day when it's hot. So usually around 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. is when the sun is at its hottest. B, block the UV rays with sunscreen, usually SPF 30 or higher, which you need to put on 30 minutes before you go outside and make sure to keep putting it on every couple hours. And C, cover up. Use hats, clothes with UV protection, sunglasses, and shoes. Auntie, what is SPF? I see it on the sunscreen bottles. Good question, Emma. SPF is sun protection factor. There are chemicals inside sunscreen that help block the UV rays. The higher the number, the more protection. So 30 and above is usually where we want to be. Okay, Auntie, so now that I have this sunburn, what do I do? It really hurts. I'm sorry to hear that, Emma. Well, for most burns, we can usually put a nice cooling gel on it called aloe vera, which is a sappy gel that we get from a plant. It has special chemicals in it that help lower the pain so your body can start to heal on its own. We can also give you medicine like Tylenol if you have a lot of pain, and we can also use cold baths or showers to cool down the burn. Got it, Auntie, thanks. We also need to make sure to drink plenty of water with sunburns. So when you're running around outside and working really hard, you know how you get really thirsty, right, Emma? Yeah, Auntie, I really do. Okay, so remember that traffic jam of immune cells going on under your skin? Well, those cells are working really hard and need extra water to help through the jam. So to do this, your body sends a signal to the body to give more water to the immune system, please, and steals water from other parts of your body. So we have to make sure to drink even more water than normal so there's enough water to go around for everyone. Wow, okay. So, Auntie, how long until I'm not a lobster anymore? Well, the cool thing about the skin is that it has many layers, seven layers to be exact. And when the first layer gets injured, the next layer steps up to the plate to replace it. So the cells that were hurt and couldn't be fixed start to fall off, which we will see when the skin starts to peel. This happens when we get the sunburn. And this is to make room for the new healthy skin underneath. It's important to not peel the skin yourself. Be sure to let it fall off on its own, and in about one week, the skin cells that were deeper begin to grow quickly to stand in for the old ones. Wow, Auntie, that's amazing. Our skin shirt is great. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's review the ABCs of sun protection with a song. Okay, Auntie, let's do it. All right, everybody. It's time to sing. The ABCs. Here we go. ABC. One, two, three. ABC. To be sunburned free.
the ABCs of sun protection. Here we go. A, B, C. One, two, three. Time to be sunburn free. All right, UV light. See you later, alligator. Not for a while, crocodile. That was a good one, Auntie. All right, let's go outside. But wait, Auntie. Let's put on some sunscreen first. Good call. All right, let me get the sunscreen. We're ready to go outside. Yes. ABCs and sun protection. We are covered. Let's go. Let's go, Auntie. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah. We can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please.